I should be able to get my car to somehow. Not sure how though. Son, are you shitting me? Uh, let's see here. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Something with the gas station. Yeah, grr, 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 on you too. I go fill this one up. And then head somewhere else. Maybe the gun store. While I'm at it. Hello! I'm here again. There he is! Is that info gathering? There you go, that's better. To fill her up. Kawar. Oh, it fixes the. Oh, okay. Fill her up, please. Yes. Thank you. Back, back, done. Walk away, thank you. And there we go. Okay, is there anything close by that I can actually enjoy? Anything on the way? No. Gun. No gun. Fine, I'll just head there then. Whatever. Yeah. Wee! I paid for this gas, I'm gonna waste it. There's a gun store which is right behind us. Yeah, that helped. Come on. I have time, I have plenty of fucking time. To recap, ah. the movie was the fourth sequel in a series that started in 1978. That's Halloween? Right, Zach. It no. was Superman 4, The Quest for Peace. Lex Luthor was back. It was played by Gene Hackman. Ah. That alone made it a must for all us fans. I don't remember much more about ah. it, though. I'm sure there was more trivia about it. Still forget 4. Richard Donner directing 1 and 2. Now those two were great movies. Christopher Reeve really shined as Superman. Actually, Zack, I've got a confession to make. I promise not to tell anyone because I'd be really embarrassed. I actually like the first two Superman movies more than the first two Star Wars movies. I think John Williams did a better job with the theme song for Superman. But whenever yeah. I try to hum it, it always turns into the Star Wars song somewhere along the way. <laughs> I know it's strange, Zack. I know. So, Zack. Which Richard Donner film do you like the best? I have no idea who he is. Hurry. Take some time and think it over. Well, well yeah, like I said, like I, uh, yeah, I would say the Superman movies over the Star Wars ones. Uh, this way. How do you get this fucking car? I'm supposed to talk to a swine bag over by the gas station but for some reason he don't wanna talk shall we say almost there ladies and gentlemen I can only go this fast I'd go faster if I could but I can't so I won't don't care I'll do it again watch
Hello. Emily, were you waiting outside for me? Should I have uh, gone inside and started the 20 questions? Well, that would have been fine with me. Shall we get something to eat then? Someone should teach you how to be more considerate. And now you want something to eat? I thought we were going to question Nick. No reason why I can't eat and talk at the same time. Welcome, Mr. Agent. Hi, Olivia. Let me have your special for today. And some fresh coffee. Our special today is turkey. A turkey and gravy sandwich. Sound good? Mmm. Oh, perfect. Emily, you eat something too. It'll be on the FBI. Okay then, I'll go all out. I'll have the T-bone steak. I usually can't order it because it's a little too expensive. <laughs> Mrs. Olivia Cormac, mm -hmm. I am here for Mr. Stewart's lunch. If it is ready, I thank you a bunch. Yes, of course. Just a moment. You get a chance to chat for him? Here you go. The usual. One turkey, strawberry jam, and cereal sandwich. What? Sounds like the sinner's sandwich. Self-inflicted punishment to atone for past sins. He's setting an example. Mr. Francis York Morgan, you should try this wonderful lunch. It's more than a delicious, tasty crunch. So says Mr. Stewart. No, that's fine. I've just ordered my own lunch. Mr. Francis York Morgan, mm. I, that is, Mr. Stewart's order is delicious, I should mention. And Mr. Nick Cormack is a genius for creating this perfection. So says Mr. Stewart. Still, I have a hunch I might not like it. You sure that sandwich is that good? Mr. Francis York Morgan. Making decisions based on intuitions is always a sign of bad FBI agents. So says Mr. Stewart. Harry, you're right. I'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah. Eat it. Shove it in your face. Hmm? Oh, I can't believe it. This is fantastic. Oh, this is dumb. It's really good. Olivia, I'm sorry, but can I change my order? I'll have what Harry is having. Yeah, I'll move on. Thank you. Nick and Diane. Hardly make the perfect couple, do they? Is it widely known that they go drinking together, just the two of them? To be honest, I don't pay attention to these things. Not into local gossip? Well, when I moved here, I was still in high school, and I kept wearing the same wild clothes from my school in Seattle. I was young back then. And before I knew it, there were rumors all over the school. She'll screw anyone. That's what they said. Totally unfounded, of course. Anyway, after that, I just sort of chose not to really trust gossip. Mm, okay. I get where you're coming from. I used to dress like a hardcore punk rocker when I was in high school. <laughs> you? A punk rocker? Oh, I can see it. Nobody took my side. <laughs> Even when I had good grades, people rejected me just because of what I wore. <laughs> I was young back then, too. <laughs> Even still, I just don't see you as a punk rocker. <laughs> and you laugh. Name the bands. Look at you. No makeup on. Dressed in uniform, eating a steak for lunch. Okay, back to work. Let's talk to Nick. <gasps> you're funny, you're a punk rocker. And you used to be a whore in school. 
Yeah, how'd that feel? I eat it. I think. I'll save it too. Uh, I'll save it. Yes. Look at, look at how much money I have. So, I'm just gonna go for a quick bathroom break and I'll be right back. P break over. Alright. Uh, talking to people, that's the one. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do here. You! The best, isn't it? Don't you agree? Going down with another nut in my belt before too long. Okay. Good to know. Coffee. Oh, it's a card. Cool. I found a card. 200 bucks also. This is win. Absorbed. Anyone else? Can I talk to you? I was wondering if you could tell me what AMG stands for. Apple and gravy. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, applesauce is the shit. Applesauce, cinnamon, and a mil and a little milk. Fantastic. <laughs> I'm the guy who cracks that jar open and just sticks a spoon in it. I'm that kind of creep. Uh. Oh, you kind of goofed. Huh. Yep. You done goofed. Hello. They are going to be drinking with Nick there on the day of the murder. I wonder what Olivia was doing then. Talk to anyone else. Is there anything in here? <gasps> Another card! Oh wait. Nick, you f fucking prick. Could you tell us what you were doing the night Anna was killed? I was at a bar with Diane. What did you talk about, Nick? Yeah, I thought we all the details. Mm. What was that motion? What, what, what is that motion? Rembrandt and Turner. You mean the artist? I don't care. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just confirming things. Just checking things out. I'm an FBI agent, of course. Need to check up on everything. Ah. This is true. Yeah. LA Noir style. See, Nick the Prick. That's your name. Nothing there. Nothing there. That's just outside. I got nothing. Yep. Good point. Alright, shall we leave then? I'm leaving! Okay. So. Olivia again? There's something I'd like ah. to confirm with you, Olivia, if that's okay. Yes. Well, so long as it doesn't take too long. First, what were you and Nick doing on the night of the murder? I was here in the diner. Nick said he was going to the bar for a couple of drinks. Does he go to the bar often? Leaving you to hold up the fort? Y yes He says he enjoys the conversation with Diane. I thought they went drinking again together that night. Do the three of you ever go drinking together? Well, 
You see, I I'm really not into art. And your husband is well versed in the arts, then, I take it? Oh, yes. Um, looking at art and talking about it is his way of relaxing. Me, like me and music. <laughs> People just aren't what they seem. Like a certain someone who was into punk rock ten years ago. You are absolutely right, Emily. But you can be an art lover and a liar at the same time. One more thing, Olivia. You just said that you aren't interested in art. That's right. And... So, how come I bumped into you at the art gallery? Didn't seem like Nick brought you there. You were there alone. I... Well... I like trees, is the thing. That's why I went there. Surely you'd be better off in the forest rather than an art gallery, then. Uh... I think you went to the gallery not to see trees, but to see Diane, right? Uh, uh. Ooh. Answer. Or perhaps this isn't the right place to ask. M meet me in the backyard. You can get there from the parking lot. I'll wait for you there for an hour after we close up. Hmm. Get to the backyard. They close at 2100. Should we get something to drink and wait? Yes. What are you looking at me for? Alright, I'm controlling. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> Come on, burping ice cream. Great. Come on, baby. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. Pull, 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 pull. Agent York, what do we do now? Get shit faced. I want to hear what Olivia has to say. Let's kill time until the diner closes. Okay, then I'm going to make a trip back to the department. I'll see you in the backyard later. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds good. Good. See you later, then. Bye. Zach, about Olivia. Mm -hmm. I presume she wants to tell us something about Nick and Diane. Let's hope it's not just something for the gossip columns. Okay, 2200. Let's see, what can we do? Hmm. Nothing really close by. At all. Um, Brian's house, Asha's house, Tigrona's house, Lumber Mill. What was that? Repeat other words. No, how about now? Uh, could do that. Don't wanna. But how do you. Supposed to be able to talk to that douche to. Ooh, there's a suspect there. Anyway, you're supposed to be able to talk to this guy in order to make him talk about your car. But I don't know how. Should I make a trip? I should make a trip. Mm. Where's my car? Where's my car? Shall we? And bonk. Fine. Go this way then. Mm. There we go. We're off. I'm gonna waste some gas while I'm getting there. Buy it when I get there. It's not like I. I went to see every Richard Donner movie on the day they premiered. Every single one. Goonies. Lost Boys. Goonies. The Lethal Weapon series. Yeah! But my favorite has to be Lady Hawk. No idea what that is. That was back in 1985. Same year as Goonies. Both Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer really shine in that one. Ooh. But more than anything, it's the story setting that was really good. A love story.